What have we here? You know what this is. It is a CGC unboxing. This is a high value order, three books. Uh, let's take a look at them. Look at the grades. I don't know what the grades are. Let's find out up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hello, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. And before we get started, like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on other socials at uh, Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics, on whatnot, Bronzeville underscore comics. Uh, link in the description has all that, plus my eBay store and my email. So um, this is a, uh, it's interesting. I sent this out. I gave it to my uh, LCS to send out on February 21st. It is now April 17th. It took almost two months to get this back. And this was in the same package with two other submissions, a modern and a modern pre-screen. And this took the longest to get back. Just very strange. What? Um, let me know what you think in the comments of this theory that uh, some fellow community members are positing that it's not open, that uh, the graders for the vintage and the high value are being um, kind of siphoned off, pulled to grade the pulps that CGC is doing now. So anyway, let's break into the box. There are three books. I don't know the grades. Obviously, all big keys. Two, low grade. All first appearances um, of major characters. All Marvel. So, um, yeah, let's see what we got here. It's always exciting. So, safety. I know people commented before, like, I'm going to do something crazy with the box cutter. Okay. So, again, I don't know the grades. we got the bubble wrap. The book's inside there. Um trying not to look the rubber band with the thingamajig so we're just going to dig into these uh let me put them in a stack here off to the side let's do it this way i'm not sure what order they're in but uh i had sent these three books in um okay the first one i picked this up in a collection a bit a little while ago um, it's Journey into Mystery 85, the first appearance of Loki. Now, uh, this I picked up in a collection that, uh, the, um, guy that I deal with, uh, antique store guy had gotten from a priest, I think it had been in a seminary. Um, and so I did an unboxing of that collection or a reveal of that collection. This is lower grade. There is like staple stress. I thought maybe a two five kind of hopeful i had to put a note on one of the staples was really kind of hanging on for dear life so two five was what i had it as and let's see the grade one eight mm -mm -mm -mm. that's a little disappointing um i want to there is staining on here there is a lot of spine wear and a lot of creasing but i i thought i want to take a look at the graders notes there's I mean, not there's small pieces missing there and there. Um, some staining you can see up here. I'm hoping I put a note about the staple. Let's take a look. I want to take a look. We'll take a look at the graders notes when we go through the other two books. So um, that's the first one. The next one. Daredevil number one. I thought this was a 1-0. Uh, I believe the cover is split and detached. But that being said, the presentation of the book is really strong. All that damage. And this is kind of like, you know, if you're going to get a low-grade 1.0, this is what you want. I mean, I'll see if it's a 1-0. Because all the damage is on the spine, which is not really visible when it's encapsulated like this. You know, all the images are pretty strong. So again, I had this at a 1.0, 1.5. Okay, that's a plus. Nice. I do believe it was split and detached. So a 1.5 on that. So one up, one down. Okay, 
I had picked this up in a collection back in October of 2022. Again, that's how far behind I am in my pressing. I have started to accelerate some more recent books, some higher value books. Um, I really need time. It takes a while to do it because I tend to, you know, go back through the book and especially books that maybe can get the 9-8. There's a little bit of stuff that needs to be worked on. I tend to be very fastidious. Obviously, these are not those. Now, this next book, this is higher grade. Okay, This is Amazing Spider-Man, number 50, classic cover by John Romita Sr., first appearance of the Kingpin. Um, I got this for a steal of a deal. I got this for a great deal on Whatnot one night. It was like Thursday um, night into Friday morning. I think it was the summertime. Did I have a date? Oh, no, it was October. It was October 1st of 2022. Again, that's how far behind I am. Even like high value books, I probably should prioritize those. Um, and he had two copies of this book. He says, do we want to do the higher grade one first or lower grade one? So he put this one up and I thought it was pretty clean. Um, it's hard to tell on whatnot. I mean, you're really, especially with a big value book like this, taking a gamble. So I thought, you know, what it looks like. I thought it looked like, you know, and looked at the fair market value of Raw's. I said, okay, I'll do about 60% of that. I said, I figure I'll go to $600 on this. And I was bidding against somebody. We were going back and forth and back and forth. And he was the only other bidder. And then he tapped out, I guess, at $500. I got this for $505. So I have this at a $60. Five, five. A little disappointment, right? When I first got it, I thought it looked nicer. But it does have, like, just overall edge wear. Yeah, I can see that. So let's take a look at the fair market values of these books. So it looks like the fair market value, and I had shown them below uh, as I displayed each book, is about $3,350 for the three books. Um, I'm not sure what I spent on them. I think the one that is, you know, I spent the most on it is a book that has fallen in price uh, lately, but I'm not going to resell it, is The Journey into Mystery 85, the first Loki. Um this is a um so the graders notes say large stain whole book moderate creasings to cover moderate spine splits to cover moderate tape stains to cover yeah there was some tape i think the tape yeah so uh, the stain is you know it, it is what it is um you know i thought uh, i am I, I would get like a 2.0 but um that stain you can see there takes and is also staining over here. It's more obvious in the back cover. And you can see there's a lot of damage on the spine. So anyway, so here's the story. So my younger daughter is graduating from elementary school this year. When uh, my older daughter graduated three years ago, uh, it was the height of the comic boom. And I was just getting into collecting comics. So I decided to get her a comic book as kind of, you know, a, a present of a character she was really interested in, kind of, you know, investment as well. And um, it was worth about the same amount of money then. I got a Detective Comics 359 because she was a huge Batgirl fan. Uh, we, when she was about four years old, my Christmas present was the box set of the Batman 66 Blu-ray. And we watched that like several times together um we we re it when uh her christmas present was the bat cave lego set from the batman 66 which is an awesome set um out of uh, production expensive set but it was still awesome so uh, my little one her favorite character is loki um so it was kind of fortuitous that i got this I, I bought a 5.5. Five. Five, five is worth le less than it was three years ago, obviously. And I've since upgraded it to a 7.0 from a collection. So here, this is what we got. It's got the first appearance of Loki. So hopefully um, she appreciates that and has that as part of the collection. If we, if we upgrade, we upgrade at some point. So now the other two books that are available. So if you're interested, reach out to me via email, bronzevillecomics at gmail, all one word, PayPal, friends and family. We have to add an extra 3%. If you want to do goods and services, that's up to you. I will ship. It's going to be $15 for shipping um, for up to three books. If you look at a couple of my recent videos, I might still have stuff available. Um, just inquire. And um, 
So this Daredevil book, the uh, Daredevil number one, in a 1.5, and it does present very well. And this is the kind of book at this grade, it's almost best to keep it, to get it slabbed, because you kind of um, preserve the condition. This is two years past, almost a year and a half, I guess, after the Loki. Same back cover. Um, but again, by having that spine split and detachment, you know, the, the, the graders notes here, this is oh, 02. Spine of cover completely spit, split and cover detached. Cover tan increases in cover tears to cover. So uh, it's completely split and detached to get a 1.5 is very nice. Um, and I think it just is a very nice presenting spine split cover detached. So 1.5, uh, 1350. And then... The Amazing Spider-Man 50, the first appearance of the Kingpin. A big ASM key. If you're interested in that book, it's $900. And, of course, these two are an interesting pair. And they're going to be an interesting pair, right? They just fil finished filming the uh, Daredevil, um, right? They just finished filming Born Again Season 1. We also have the Punisher in that. I don't have any ASM 129s on, uh, available. But uh, first Kingpin and first Daredevil kind of pair up nicely. And, you know, D'Onofrio's amazing performance as Kingpin. He'll come back um, for that series, and I think that's that's I think that's going to be excellent. So I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, those that's it for a quick little CGC unboxing. I now have no more books out at CGC. Um, I've been pressing, and i got to get some books uh, submitted. And... Um, you know, I, it, it, it's, it is time consuming. Um, it is, it can be rewarding. It can be frustrating, but, um, anyway, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and, uh, you can take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.